Black History Month starts today and right now people are working to protect buildings in our state that connect local black families and black stories. Micah Smith shows us how they're making sure generations of pride aren't lost to gentrification. Around each corner of the 100 year old Shorter Community AME Church building, there are stories and connections to the past that hang in the air like musical notes. Shorter served as a spiritual home and meeting place for black Coloradans during a time when white establishments rejected and sometimes abused them. But this place and all of that history were nearly lost to time. There were nothing but pigeons and mice. World-renowned dancer Cleo Parker Robinson, with the help of several community members, saved it, breathing new life into the old building by choosing to locate her theater here. There was light already here, and so it was easy for us to illuminate that light. But what happens when there's no one to shine that light and places with deep historical connections to the black community go unrecognized? Some of them are now parking lots, some of them are completely different buildings. And the stories that are locked inside are demolished with them. Catherine Stroh, the executive director of the Colorado Historical Foundation, says the foundation is on a mission to capture black American stories and connect them to places where they happened, especially during the segregation era. We uh, received three grants from the history Colorado State Historical Fund to kind of fill in some gaps for underrepresented communities history in Colorado. We didn't have a solid uh, documentation of where all those sites existed. So we have found over 270 sites in Colorado that took it upon themselves to list themselves in the Green Books as safe places, peaceable places where black men and women could stay. One of those sites is 1514 Blake Street in Denver. Now Hoppa Sushi, it was once the People's Restaurant owned by Barney Ford, an escaped slave who became a successful businessman in Denver and the first black business owner in Breckenridge. Fortunately, someone has captured that history. A lot of times the everyday life of people, no matter what color their skin was, it's overlooked. And unfortunately for non-white people, I think even more so. Our lives passion is the acquisition and preservation and keeping of this history. Jamika Lewis, senior librarian at Blair Caldwell African American Research Library, has been working to preserve local stories and items as well. The library recently received a grant to preserve 11 of their most popular collections. I think one of the most memorable things that I've come across is a letter um, written by Dr. Martin Luther King Jr written to a community member here in Denver. And that person was asking for help with um, coordinating some things for Lincoln Hills. Lincoln Hills was a resort in Gilpin County in one of the only places black travelers could stay while in Colorado. As the country began to integrate, the site was no longer needed and closed for a while. Today, it serves as a camp for kids from marginalized communities. When you're talking about history or a really good story, you know, you want to give people a sense of the setting. What was it like to be there? And you don't get that if the place is gone. Thankfully, Lincoln Hills, the People's Restaurant, and Shorter's old building are still standing. But Stroh says the clock is ticking to identify and preserve other places that give us unique insight into what it meant to be black in Colorado during a much different time. Reporting in Denver, Micah Smith, Denver 7.